Hello, guys. We are officially back in the building. Back in the building, baby. Ready to do something special, guys. I, I come to you on National Pumpkin Day with our first female guest, Shayna. Introduce yourself, please. Tell the people who you are. Tell us something special about. Just tell us something about you. Let's hear it. The floor is yours. <laughs> I am Shayna. Um, something special about me. Last name? Do you have a last name? Maybe you don't. I'm not sure. Just, just FYI. Shayna Brooke. We'll go with Shayna Brooke. Shayna Brooke. Okay, nice. Shayna Brooke in the building. Nice. Um, something special about me. You're a laugher. <laughs> I do laugh a lot. This is true. Um, I'm just. I don't know, man. I like to travel. That's my thing. Traveling. I like going to different cities. Don't matter what day of the week. Yeah. First class? Everywhere. First class? Back mm -hmm. of the plane. Mm -hmm. Driving. Mostly. Driver. <laughs> Big time driver. Okay, Big question, driver. question, question. Kev, you can get in on this as well. When the plane lands, since we're talking about traveling, when the plane lands, are you a pot rotted out of your seat person or are you just like a chill like when my, when my road gets up? I'm there. Chill when my row get up. Kev? Just gotta hang out. You hang out? See, I, people, if you're listening and you're one of those immediate stand-uppers, I want to say seek help because it's some. I don't understand. <laughs> what I don't understand what, I mean, it really bothers me, especially when I'm on the outside row. The person next to me is kind of, he's getting all fidgety, getting all fidgety. And I'm just like, yo, I'm not getting up no time soon until <laughs> I'm, until my row is available to get up. But speaking of traveling, Shanna, Shanna informed me of something very interesting today that I did not know about. So for this next topic of traveling, <laughs> tell us about this new travel policy that's getting implemented when? November 8th. November 8th. Talk to us. Talk to us. November 8th. Everyone keeps telling me you got to be vaccinated to travel. You got to be vaccinated to travel. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you really don't um honestly now on november 8th to go out the country i think is that right kevin uh to come back into the country okay so to come back into the united states if you are not fully vaccinated you just got to get a covid test day before you leave wait to come back in but now that i think about it i think it was like was it not like that before what no, I, you only needed one to go. I think you only needed one to go out, but it was like 72 hours time span. But now you literally have to get a negative one the day before. Oh, it's just the day the before. US. Because when I went to Mexico, yeah. I believe we had something. We, we had to get a test to come back. But I think it was, um, I guess it was the day or 72, 72 hour, yeah. hours or something Within like that. Three days of like departure of your flight or something. Yeah. So I, I mean, shoot, I know in today's day and age, I think everyone's pretty much tired of hearing about the coronavirus, the vaccine, all, all and above. But I mean, shoot, Hey, we're going to beat that. The horse dead. Be, I'm not sure how that saying goes. Actually. Now I think about it. You know what I'm talking about? Drum I know, I know beating, talking. On a, beating, on yeah, beating on a, dead horse, beating on the dead horse, beating on a dead horse. I never, it seems kind of a little bit of animal cruelty. I'm not sure though. Avocado farmers in Mexico are forced to protect their land with weapons from vigilante groups. Avocados are a $2.4 billion business in Mexico, which has attracted drug cartels who are stealing land and are forcing farmers to hand over their profits. To protect themselves, farmers are now arming themselves. But I'm not sure where that came from, but. I don't know what that phrase means. You never heard that? <laughs> I don't, it it kind of means that you just talk about something way too much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is basically COVID. Oh, so um, pointless. Like you're hitting a dead horse. Yes, yes, yes. But I don't know why you would hit the dead horse. Because it's pointless. Because it's, already, it's dead. already dead. Yeah, but why? Why are you hit? <laughs> I, I, okay. I don't know why you're. I guess it. I mean that that man that could have been whoever came up with that slogan. I think you could have done better, but it really stuck. <laughs> so. Um, seriously, I know COVID has affected a lot of people not to, um, be anti against that, but man, sorry to people that have, you know, COVID's been rough, you know what I mean? Shoot. Anyway, yeah. um, Disneyland prices going up 8%, parking going up 20%, 20, 
20%. Disneyland is over here trying to hit a lick on people. That's what I hear. I mean, well, 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 well. I guess Disneyland isn't doing what anyone else hasn't done post-COVID. Everyone, of course, had losses. Disney, Disneyland shut down, I believe, fact check me on this, Disneyland shut down for the first time since 9-11 this past year due to COVID. If I'm correct about that, when is the last time you have been to Disneyland? Shoot, I've only been to Disneyland once. One time. I was little. I don't remember nothing. You was a baby. Not a baby. Four, maybe. Four. That's that's pretty baby. Toddler. Toddy? You know, a toddy. <laughs> I went to Disneyland. I mean, it's crazy. I used to uh, go to Disneyland for a track meet. And we wouldn't even really get to go to Disneyland. So I'm not really sure if that really counts. Are you talking about Disneyland in California or Disney World in Florida? Because they're two different. Honestly? No, I ain't I, been to Disneyland. I've never been. I thought that was SeaWorld. Is it SeaWorld? Where's SeaWorld? I think the, uh, SeaWorld's in Florida. Uh, what is the funny thing about it? in Florida. There's like a funny joke with SeaWorld. You know what I'm talking about? What's the funny joke? All right, I don't, I don't know the funny know the joke. joke. All right, while Kevin, while Kevin figures that out. <laughs> did I say today's National Pumpkin Day? You did. Yes. Are you going to do anything with the pumpkin throughout Halloween? It's four more days, five more days until Halloween. No. Have you seen the new Jason movie? No. Are you dressing up for Halloween? No. Are you giving out candy to the kids for Halloween? Yeah, I'll probably leave some out. Leave some out? A bowl? Yeah. Oh, so you hate kids? No. I have stuff to do. Oh, okay. Understandable. Kids aren't important enough. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I mean, I understand. I totally understand. I Kevin, what are you doing for pumpkin day and or Halloween over the next? Oh, Kevin, tell us what you did. Make sure you speak up because you do not have all your right. microphone. So my girlfriend and I and her mom and her mom's fiance, we all ended up going to a costume party. Uh, we dressed up as Kiss the band and, you know, we did the whole makeup and nail polish and everything. We ended up winning, but didn't have any nail polish removal, so I now have nails. Believe it or not, I actually wanted to dress up something special this year for Halloween. Hmm. And man, it seems like it always happens like this. It always gets to be five days before, and I'm not doing anything, and this year I'm not even... I mean, there's actually nothing. Usually Bradley Bozeman has a Halloween party, but I guess with our bye week, it kind of was awkward timing, so... I'm actually not going into Halloween parties, but I will be making sure candy is served. Oh wait, we'll be I'll be back here for Halloween. Halloween Saturday. Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Oh, it's Sunday? I believe it's Sunday. Well, okay. if the kids are trick-or-treating Sunday, I actually will be here giving out candy and I will dress up. Snowflake, of course, will dress up. That's my cat for the people that don't know. What's Snowflake gonna be? Snowflake is going to be Give him a little, give him a little teaser. Honestly, this might sound wild, and I don't know if this is possible. Can you dye your cat's hair? I think so. I believe you can. I think Snowflake you can. will be dyed with something. Gosh, but then it might get all over the house, so maybe not. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. You'll just have to wait and see. You will have to wait and see. But what I did for Pumpkin Day, I had a glorious... Pumpkin muffin walking out of my day job. Oh, I wanted to go back and get another one. I should have, but boy, oh my goodness. I didn't even know it was pumpkin day until later. <laughs> I should have brought them for the show, honestly. Honestly, because now you're talking about it. Oh no, these jokes was, oh goodness gracious, <laughs> moist. Like, I mean, like, shout out to, uh, Manny and the cafeteria crew at work. Goodness gracious, those things were... Tch. All right, enough I'm about that. I'm not a huge pumpkin flavor person. See, but you know, some, man, I had some pumpkin pancakes one time. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It was like last bye week. You love I guess pumpkin. my bye week's always around Halloween. Pum you don't like pumpkin? No. Now, once upon a time, I got a, a pumpkin, maybe a pumpkin hot chocolate. And I was like, yo, this thing is like 
Oh no, maybe it was just a Halloween special hot chocolate. It had something going on with a special for maybe it was Christmas time. Maybe. What goes on with Christmas? My kind of, my kind of flavor is ginger, gingerbread. What goes on with Christmas? Whatever. Anyway, it was a holiday special hot cocoa. Peppermint? Maybe it was peppermint. <laughs> this hot cocoa was going crazy. And I was with it was like, oh, it's got like uh whiskey in there or something like that. I was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't even know it did. I was in that job finna get lit. I'm like, dang, I didn't even I'm over here drinking accidentally. Then he noticed, but it was so far I was but then of course I had to stop drinking. But um on another note, Dad Patrol. This got sent to me. Dads are patrolling high schools. This one high school in Louisiana, I believe. And the idea is, I'm kind of adding to what I know to what I don't know, but I believe the main idea is, you know, some kids come to school, get in fights. You know, there's police officers there as well to help. But, you know, teachers shouldn't be really over here breaking up fights. Teachers really should be, you know, teaching. You know, that's, you know what I mean? And different things. And these dads are offering words of encouragement, smiles, encouraging these kids to just, you know, just enjoy their high school experience and kind of all the extra stuff, put it to the side. Mm -hmm. And it seemed to work really well in Louisiana. Um, there's been a lot of positive feedback from a lot of the kids. And it, I mean, based off the news clip I saw, it looked like a really, really good thing. And it's it's all dads. Um, patrolling like the hallways? Patrolling the hallways. All day? I'm not sure if it's all day, but they take shifts. So it sounds like it might be all day. Apparently, fights have reduced. In the video, there's a lot of smiles and laughs. People were speak. some of the kids were speaking highly of them. Mm. So I ask you, what would you do if when you were in high school, you turned the corner and you saw you or your friend's dad just sitting there. You're like, hey, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Would that make you feel weird or like a familiar face? And you're like, oh. Let me not snatch this girl's head. You know what I mean? Like fighter. You know what I mean? With it. Eh. I don't have any aggression in me. So that's. A, <laughs> I can't. Kevin, I know you're a fighter. You. I know you're a fighter. <laughs> Tell me. Talk to me. Uh, well, if I saw. If I saw my dad in the hallway, I feel like that would be way like too weird. But if I saw my friend's dad, then it's kind of like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, mm. and then I'd act right. But if I saw my dad, I'd probably just make fun of him. No, you crack your own dad? You can get your dad jumped in school. Wow. Um, if I seen my dad, I mean, I, I don't think I was really a troublemaker for the most part, even though last episode I kind of got into a small altercation. But for the most part, I mean, I, 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 mean, I'm, I don't be looking for, for trouble. But Oh, also it helps with, um, you know, some kids just, I've never understood a kid that skips class to stay in the school. Yeah, I don't understand like, that either. Like, you're yeah. in the basement for what? <laughs> They're going to find you. Yeah, no, <laughs> at my high school, I just don't even know where you could have gone to skip class where no one would see you. There's nowhere, like, you could really hide. Yeah. I mean, there's always, I felt like there was always somebody in the gym area. Mm. But I just felt like there was nowhere to even, like, hide. There yeah. was classes in our gyms. Yeah, yeah. So, but I felt like if like a kid just ran, like there's always like a kid just seemed like they were just around that area. Hmm. But I don't I know. know. Some people used to like sneak into different lunches. They would have lunch for like an hour and a half. See, I, <laughs> now pe people probably did that, but I, yeah, I, 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 it would be weird. I mean, one time I, I got in trouble. I, did I get in trouble? Yeah, kinda. He said he wasn't a troublemaker. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. We had a substitute. We had a substitute. <laughs> And she kicked me out because I think I was on my phone. So you wanted to act up when you had a sub? <laughs> it was a substitute. No matter of fact, she told me to give me your phone. She said, give me, give me your phone. I said, come on. Come on. You're a sub. I'm like, I'm not giving you my phone. So I just left the class. I think she told me to get out, give me the phone or leave. I said, I'll just leave. But she apparently was sending me to the principal's office. But like, I didn't know she was being for real. Like, I... I think I underestimated the sub. 
Seems like I underestimated a lot of teachers. Long story short, I end up getting in trouble, like serious trouble for leaving the class and not going to the principal's office. And the principal was my guy. So I, like, I would have went to the principal's office. That was my guy. That was my man. That was my guy. Long story short, I ended up getting ISS. But, you know, I got sent to the principal's office one time. So you were bad. So you needed someone's dad. No, I did not finish my story. Okay, proceed, proceed. You're right. I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. Proceed, proceed. I literally got written up and told to go to the principal's office because I took out a green tea in class. And you were not allowed to have anything but water, but I, I, I couldn't really... I didn't like water in the morning. So the next day, I went to my doctor and asked for a note to be written out saying that I can't drink water in the mornings. <laughs> you... you, you. You got wait, what was written up? What what does that declare as? The eyes what was that? What is written up exactly? I just got like a little like slip to go to the principal's office. And what was like the discipline? I guess. They just told me I couldn't do what they they said I couldn't have tea. So then I got a note from my doctor saying I could have tea. And then I got yelled at for getting Wait, a note wait, from wait, my wait, doctor. wait, 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 wait. You went and got a doctor's note? Yes. For what was wrong with you? you kn- I didn't want water in the morning. So you... My doctor what? laughed at me, but he said, yeah, I'm going to write it for you. I don't like water in the morning because I didn't always but eat like, in high school. But like, I don't understand how the doctor says, like, it, that's not a medical reason. Yeah, like, like, what did he write for that? These are you... He said that I, I'm allowed to have tea in the mornings. That seems like such a... Was you, you and the doctor were cool. That was your guy. That was, that was your man's. The doctor? Yeah. Yeah, he was cool. I mean, he was my pediatrician. Was he your friend? No, I, I he just, was like 80. <laughs> I'm saying, was he your parents' friend? I'm just trying to figure out, how does a doctor write? I just... I mean, he liked us because there was like four of us. He's like, oh, the hell's are back. You know what I mean? It's very interesting. <laughs> I must say, I mean... I, he wrote it for me. I can't believe you went to the doctor about that. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about the school doctor? No, my actual doctor. Yeah, okay. That's... I think that's strange, but... They said that's the only way that I could have tea in school. Dang, I didn't I want feel, to drink water at man, 7.30 it seems in the like, morning. It seems like y'all are really strict about what you drink. I, I did not want to drink water at 7.30 in the morning. I just didn't think that would be that big of a deal. Me either. Man, I, I can't even think if we had drink rules. Human I mean, anatomy and physiology teacher I guess it's teacher probably because they don't want people drinking alcohol. If you say you can drink whatever, probably. next thing you know, somebody's probably coming in there with lit, leaning, turnt. So, I'm just trying to get my caffeine in, and you know, I understand. Kevin, tell us about these avocados. What do you know about that? Wait, wait, what do you know about avocados? Green, mushy, gross, dude. I forgot, I forgot he's injured. Oh, you forgot? You forgot. How did you, why did you think I wasn't playing? <laughs> no, no, I forgot, guys. Ronnie is, is rolling in the building. <laughs> Ronnie Stanley. We've in already the house. started slightly. Ronnie Stanley in the building. Let's give Ronnie Stanley a hand clap, baby. <laughs> All right, pause. Maybe we should have waited until you were like right there. Ronnie G. Stanley into the building. Let's give him another hand clap, please. Wait, are we gonna start? Guys, are we gonna start. Oh, I, yeah, we we've already started. started. You already introduced. Yeah, we're like maybe just doing twenty minutes in. Yeah. Oh my god! Why would right. you start? The vibes was right. The house was right. Like, look at this. Oh man! Look at this. This took me work to put that there. You're a star. He's a star. Let's give him a hand clap, please. Uh, woo! Glory to God. Glory to God, guys. Ronnie G. Stanley is back, guys. As you know, I kind of actually forgot slightly that Tell Ronnie's him. not as mobile as he should be. So Marlon pretty much is telling you guys that uh, he doesn't think about me. As a human being, um, only as a okay. prop to his life. Guys, well, this is what happened. So Ronnie is, if, let, let me give you guys a little my, how I know Ronnie G. Stanley. He's a, he's a, wait, is someone here? Someone came with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot you need help. You can't drive. Okay. <laughs> Ro- yeah, see, I kind of forgot some things, guys. Ronnie, oh, first of all, let me tell you about Ronnie. Ronnie's kind of like a, we're showing up somewhere at 630. He's kind of like a, I'm a. I'm a fashionably late guy. 
Might be there at 635, then, 640. 645. More like 650. But then I forgot yeah. about the injury. So which was going to make you at least about an hour or so late. <laughs> you know that's going to... So know. I kind of forgot about that, guys. So we started the podcast prematurely. But now... Ronnie's back. Yeah, let's give a hand clap, please. I'm glad. All right, Ronnie, uh, you're a little late. National, National Pumpkin Day. Give us one thing. About a pumpkin? Are you doing anything pumpkin related? Pumpkin latte, pumpkin spice, pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin. I bought tea. a pumpkin spice candle recently. Nice. Have you lit it? Not yet. It's about that time, though. Today it's is National cold. Pumpkin Day. So if there's, there, if there's a better day, it's today. What's, what's your pumpkin thing? I had a pumpkin muffin leaving the facility today. Talk How was it? it? Oh my. Top notch? Bro, I'm not going to lie. This was legit. I would pay money to re-eat that, even though it was free. Interesting. It was it was 10 out of 10. I'm just going to be honest with so you. So I'm going to go out and try a pumpkin muffin, maybe a pumpkin spice muffin. I don't know where you're going to get that from, <laughs> but there's prob- they're out there. For they're sure. out there. Uh, or the recipe's out there somewhere. Swing back by the facility. And just, eh. um, okay. Secondly. Dad Patrol, what would you do if you're walking through high school? I know you were a you were a bigger, stronger guy in high school, correct? I mean, I guess so. Uh, you were you were kind of a bully, essentially. No, definitely was not you, a bully. Was, I was an anti bully, actually. Uh, I bullied the bullies. So either way, bully was in your name. You know, bully uh, was who you are, somewhat. Was, so <laughs> let's say you're walking in the hallway. You're about to bully that kid that you've bullied for the third time. <laughs> And you see your dad or your friend's dad in the hallway patrolling the hallway. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What's the first thing that goes to your mom? First thing that goes to your mom? First thing that goes to your mom. What is this old head doing here? (laughs) (laughs) And you walk up to him. He says, hey, you're going to be seeing a lot of me. I work here now. I was like, all right, show, bet. So you're not going to bully that kid anymore, though, more than likely. Well, that kid that was probably bullying someone else isn't going to be bullying anyone, so I won't have to do anything in that this reality. This process well. has been implemented in Louisiana at one of the high schools. I saw the video you're talking about. Dad Patrol. What'd you think? I thought it was cool. I thought, I thought it was a good it, idea. Bingo. I bingo. thought it was awesome. I thought it was all right. I wasn't half bad. All right. Now that you're here, Kevin is going to tell us a very interesting topic. About avocados, but before we get to avocados, avocado or no? I like avocados. Shana? No. Shana, are you a picky eater? <laughs> kind of. Oh, goodness. Kevin, avocados or no? I like avocados. Kevin, tell us about I avocados. Mean, y'all stands. Avocado farmers in Mexico are forced to protect their land with weapons from vigilante groups. Avocados are a $2.4 billion business in Mexico, which has attracted drug cartels who are stealing land and are forcing farmers to hand over their profits. To protect themselves, farmers are now arming themselves. This is like back in the village days. This is like back in, yeah, I was about to say the same thing you actually just said. Like villagers protecting their villages from being pillaged. But avocados, who would have thought? They're like gold. Avocados. But like, it's a 2.4? You say 2.4? Two 2.4 billion. I guess that's a lot. That's a lot. You want to know what's crazy? Wait, just in Mexico? Just in Mexico. Crap. Wow. Them avocados be hidden from Mexico, bro. Does... Is, but there's avocados in other. I feel like is Jamaica gua- has avocados. I feel like is guacamole a is that considered a Mexican a true Mexican thing? Yeah, I think yeah, so. I think like so. When you get Mexican food in Mexico, yes, guacamole. Comes. Yes, mm-hmm. really. Yeah, hundred percent. We don't get our Maybe avocados from Mexico, do we? Yeah, we do. We get our yes, avocados. Yeah. Our best avocados come from Mexico. Oh wow! Avocados from Mexico. Have anyone ever heard that before? Because I've never heard that slogan. If you haven't heard of that, you're big tripping, bro. You actually have heard of it. You just sub, you subliminally <laughs> forgotten that you've heard of it. And I know that for a fact. I can 100%. Whoa, whoa, the viewers, whoa, whoa. the listeners right now are whoa. agreeing with me. They're shaking their head. They're like, oh my gosh, Molly, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's whoa. heard that a thousand times. 100%? A hundred thousand, a million mm. percent. As slow, Snowflake walks in here oh and goodness. gives me approval. Of what I'm just saying. You know how I know? 
Go ahead, Kev. You can say you probably Googled Kev, don't it. Don't be jumping on this. You probably Googled it, yeah, but being honest, the first thing when I typed in avocados, it said avocados from Mexico. And That's what the first thing? And the thing about avocados but from Mexico, that? the thing about avocados from Mexico, they almost always have an ad in the Super Bowl every single year. Multiple ads. Avocados from Mexico. I've never. I can't think of ever. Thank you. Go Mexico. ahead and Google avocados from Mexico Super Bowl ads. They're almost in there every year. And that, you know how I know that? That's the only time I ever hear about avocados from Mexico is during the Super Bowl. I'm like, so this is the only time they run a commercial? They must have See, dummy bread. Dang, I mean, to be in a Super Bowl commercial. Snowflake, you, come here. You do Snowflake. That. You get up. Come on. Come on, Snowflake. You've been trained for this. Oh, Snowflake had a rough morning. A rough. very rough morning. Guys, a side tad bit, not dealing about avocados. Last night, I was in my bed. I started hearing Snowflake. some weird noises. Come here. Next thing you know, I hear a... In between those weird noises and this really loud noise, my alarm went off that a door was open. Next thing you know, I hear like a crazy, like crazy noise. Okay. Wake up. My door. Well, I was already woke up. My do I already checked my phone. Said my door was open. I get up. My door is open. Both of my cats are gone. Next thing you know, I'm like. I think something just busted in my crib mm. and might have snatched Snowflake. They wasn't? Now, I got another kitten named Stormy. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to say. Had another kitten. He, he's, he's not, yeah. Long story short, guys, I think an animal got inside my home, snatched, snatched my kitten, and slowly as I was looking around for the cats, I see a, a burst go by. Shoom. It was Snowflake running like Usain Bolt, running to the door. Whatever he's seen, <laughs> he's a man now. <laughs> he might have he might have been a boy before, but this morning at about six, what six thirty, six to seven a.m. Six forty-five. He became a man, and he lived to see another day. Has he patrolled these lands? No, he needs to stay inside. Oh, he stays inside. Well, no, he sometimes he be get. Has he walked around in the grass and does he do cats do that? Yes, he one time he he did a little two day journey outside. I thought he was. I thought he got swiped then. Mm. I mean, he's had some close calls. So so he's been out there. He, you know, he, he's been out there and held his own. And now my kitten, things. sadly, I don't think my kitten made it. What does that mean? I just, the loud noise was like, <laughs> I know there's oh, a Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, he, he got wiped. He got swiped for sure. He got swiped <laughs> outside? No, oh, it was inside. It was inside. How to get Bro, inside? I'm sitting, I'm in my bed. Sorry. I'm in my bed. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. I was literally looking at Snowflake the whole time you were I, talking I'm, about your story. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I was scared. I actually was actually scared in my own home from the noise I heard. Oh, you were worried, worried. Bro, I was worried. I, so then I said, you know what? You're not about to punk me in my crib. Pump you, huh? Punk me. Punk. I bet. Punk. Because whatever, whatever was in here was going to have to get these hands. I lied. I actually sent Ali out first, just in case. You know, and I was like, Ali, you know what I mean? Hopefully, Ali will, you know, distract them, and then I can come in. Okay, Ooh, so classic. You're going to send your dog out? Sacrifice? No, I mean, you know, he's an animal, you know. He fight might, it out. He's going he's gonna to protect. And if he can't hold his own, I'll join in. You, know in? you got to. But I think I was already a little bit too late. And uh, and how did it get out? The door's open. So you left your door open? No. No, no, the door was open for a minute. I thought. I had a friend staying here mm -hmm. in my loft. Yes. I thought they had come. I texted him like, yo, did you just, you didn't just come inside, did you? So something <laughs> opened the door. I don't know how the door really got open. It, I think it was the wind. But the wind. The wind opened the door? The wind, the door opens outward. Though. Or if the wind can open your door, that's it a problem. this one. Once. You got to get that fixed. There's. All I know is uh, the wind was going. Bro, the wind was going know, stupid last uh, night. Though. Tree, but uh, I do need to get my doors my a little tighter. Yeah, uh, the doors shouldn't be opening. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, I mean, it possible, R. possible. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, there is a coyote that kind of patrols around that. I need to probably take care of because it it be pooping. It be it be pooping on the concrete though. It took the kitten. But it also <laughs> that be pooping on the, been the last straw. It also be pooping on the concrete though. So. 
pooping on the concrete is the last straw. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, that's, that's like the reason I, you gotta I, kill him, not because he killed the no, kid. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like you know, like whoa, what? I, also, I was supposed to get these cameras. Once I get these cameras installed, well, I'll figure out exactly what it is. But I have seen it driving down my driveway one time. It was anyway. Um, it's probably this. This was his territory before you. Yeah, well, it's gonna have to. And I need some more lights around the house at night because low key it might you need some flood. I might have to, you know, that Floyd. May- Speaking of Floyd Mayweather. Tell us about Floyd. Floyd Mayweather, I guess he rejected a fan taking a picture because this so-called fan had his nails painted. And now people are, you know, attacking Floyd. I think that was kind of messed up. I think he should. Just because the nails were painted? Just because the nails were painted. Kevin? Kevin? You can't get. Kevin, can you give us a perspective? I guess I can. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'd be a little upset, but you know. Can you tell us why you'd be a little upset, Kevin? My nails are painted. Okay. Uh, I did it for a Halloween costume. Yeah, you missed you missed that as well. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Right? Hey, we we don't. You work for us. I mean, we don't care. Obviously. <laughs> no, no. I told her. I said I don't give you nails. We don't painted. care. I came in. I said, "Yo, that's dope." Yeah, he he was trying to give me the well, this is what I was like, bro. <laughs> Yo, you want to come in with a dress on? Play, you want to come in with lipstick? Yeah, that that, yeah. that would be a little strange, but uh, okay. Hey, do you? Do, do, do you. you guys live free in your own space? Because I'm not going to say we don't care, but we don't care. Not everyone's walking around here ready to just judge, even though a lot of people do judge. Yeah, sure do. But here on Guru Punch, we welcome all parties and we don't judge. We don't. Amen. Unless you're like a mass murderer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope Kidnapper. Someone will be walking up in here. Yeah. You know, Marlon respects the grind of those crafts, but. Guys, if you're doing. A, Non illegal scammers. I'm just saying, okay. I'm not saying I condone, but I'm just saying it's a skill. It's a skill, guys. Guys, <laughs> you know, we love our shows on Guru Punch. We sure do. You season three, have you seen it? Anyone, comments, I've... thoughts, and or concerns? We intro, we talked about you season three last week. I so thought we, it was very. We could technically go ahead and spoil it. Okay. So spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler alert. We, we, uh, we, if we intro it, we can spoil it the next week. You know how it goes on this show. Wait, well, first, Shannon, have you seen, seen it? it? You haven't seen it? Do you want to see it? Have you seen no, season one? Good. All right, we're spoiling. I've seen season one only. Yes. Okay, okay. We're spoiling. Oh, you two seasons behind. Yeah, you don't I'm, care. Yeah, you don't, you don't, a, don't care. I'm out the. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was a little. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a little wild. I thought it was getting a little out of hand. It was out of pocket, It was getting man. a little out of hand. I was like, okay, one murder, okay. Two murders <laughs> in one little town, okay. <laughs> All right, fine, maybe two. And then they framed it. I was like, okay, uh, no, okay maybe. That, I don't think so. I don't think that whole exactly. out. And I was like, okay, now they're murdering like multiple people Dude. in this town. There's like, there's no possible chance. Yeah, that's- there's like nothing getting out about <laughs> Where these people are coming from? I have a, I have a very pivotal question for the one guy. How did? And I'm I'm sure no one thought about this. And people are going to be like, "Oh, it's just a show." So you're not. See, I don't be think, I don't be doing it like that. I'd be I like, know. This is I, real life. Somewhere. Yes, I'd be like, if you're going to make a show like this, like at, at least you got to cover the yes, loopholes and make it so yes, like Ronnie? it could be actually ha- something that could happen. Bingo. So when he when he brought the body to the house you know the one that uh the dude that you know uh you know tied himself up like he was so oh. so ashamed i was like tied himself up yeah he like you know you know cut himself off you know the, the father got the glasses oh it yes. was early it was like one of yes. the earlier okay, murders. Yes, 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 yes. and he put him back in his own house i'm like okay yeah, so yeah. no one no okay, one yeah. saw this happen no one saw exactly. this guy drive up exactly. no camera saw his car come on I'm like, where are all the cameras at looking at these cars? I'm like, at least give me a realistic sense of how they're escaping, how Dude, these things are happening. It's crazy because I was driving to work thinking, like, I really hope, cause, you know, people are kind of see stuff on TV and think, I can get away with this. It was so unrealistic. I, I really hope no one's so about to unreal. actually try this. Maybe the first murder, I was like, okay, yeah, and they then, could get away with that one. Yeah. And I was like, maybe they're going to have to like the, figure the, it out. And But then they just kept going. I was like, okay, there's no possible chance. And the Even on- the way he got out. I'm like, there's no way he, you know, he's really getting out. Yeah. I mean, the only way the first murder even worked was because she parked in that sketchy alley. 
And so it was like going to her car was like somewhat easy. Yeah, if she didn't park there, just imagine how. Yeah, there would have been no way. To, yeah, there would have been no way. But everything about it was like, okay, this first one, okay. Second one, like, dang, already? Like, these were happening early. Then it's like the third one was like, okay, you had to kill him because of that. And then that person, I'm like, all right. Then you put the, the couple in there together, I'm like. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was just, it was a lot. I felt like they just overdid it. Love be acting her tail off. She isn't, she, she be acting. She a pretty good actor. She is. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, she be acting, acting. I also just saw today. I thought the one chick in the the one that they locked up, she was funny. She was she was doing a good job too. <laughs> I thought she was funny playing like that part. She was actually. She. I actually kind of wonder if if you were locked up with somebody. No, I don't think you would start going. They was lucky going crazy on each other. But I don't know. You're locked up. You ain't got kidnapped. I don't know. I, I don't know what goes through your head in that situation. Hopefully, I'm, I'm never in that situation. But. I mean, I thought they were idiots, you know. They obviously. shot each other. Yeah, it's stupid. Well, well, the one. And then I thought Love was him. an idiot for giving him a gun in the first place. Look, as soon as Love slid that gun in, I'm turning around. Boop. Right, the, right her stomach. <laughs> no, bro, but like, you can't. She hand she put it in the plate. I guess you're right. She put it in. The Unless they would have grabbed it. Yes, bro. I would have figured out a way where, like, you know, she's handing me some food and I'm gonna get it. I don't know. Whatever. They, they, and then you kill the kid. I'm like, oh my gosh, is everyone gonna die? It, it was just too much. He didn't die. Oh Ooh. yeah, he didn't. The kid. You're right. What kid? I just be they be acting like love got the power of Muhammad, like Muhammad Ali or something. What kid? Like Mike Tyson, every time she hit somebody with something, they just do out of there. Oh, I know, right? I'm like, damn, what's she? Uh, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 the one kid. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And I'm surprised none of those people were like snitching on Joe or what's his name? Is well, I think they wanted to, uh, you know, they wanted to be a power couple and end it. I didn't like the ending, though. Yeah. I don't know how it could have ended, but I didn't want it to end like Yeah, like all these like weird suicide notes yeah like and like I, oh we're just, like every, everyone just believes like what's written on that note yeah now. no like, one's like wait someone else write this like, yeah it's like come on oh, come on they're just like oh that must be it yeah All that's right. it oh case well, closed case, yeah it was and like where's the family member saying oh my son would never do that yeah blah, blah, blah. like yeah i know it, it was guys you season three is is uh, i thought it was legit the worst season you know, because it's hard to continue with a show like that because when it's yeah. based off of like Get unrealistic killing, murdering and- people over relationship jealousy that uh, that can only last so long <laughs> before you're locked up and you get or you can get unrealistic. Gosh, love is so unstable. I mean, she just be. I mean, I know you. Uh, I think Joey having at least a plan to his to his craziness, but. Yeah, Joe's crazy, but yeah, she was she was off the hinges. Yeah, and, and there was no plan. You gotta have a plan. Gotta have a plan. All right. The music industry made eighteen billion dollars last year. The artist only got eleven percent of it. Wow. Eleven percent of it. That's rough. That's rough. So and, and now, do, what do I know about the music industry? Nothing. Am I a music guy? No. No. <laughs> no. But, but, apparently it's extremely hard to get money based off these streams. The music has clearly changed. You don't have physical album sales nowadays. Mm-hmm. So it's all about concerts, I guess. Um, it's restrictions, COVID. COVID restrictions, so, I mean, if you're not Drizzy, Drake, and I don't know who else is top, Travis, Scott, you know, all these top-notch dogs, you're living a rough life. Sounds like the system is really, is taking over. Yeah, interesting. Well, I don't know much about the industry either. It's but tough. I'm sure just like it's a lot more decentralized than like, you know, like the NFL or like any other league. Yeah. Because they're kind of more independent. Yeah. 
So I bet like the venues take huge cuts. Uh, uh, plus, you know, the record company. And it's... And like the platforms that the music's on, Apple, Spotify, whatever. Yeah, the platforms yeah, as well. They, they don't have of- deals themselves. Yeah, I guess I guess that's true. I look you think artists only get like a couple cents per stream. On Spotify, yeah. Yeah. I think it's like every fifteen hundred is seven cents. I might be incorrect about that. What is Ollie doing here? Yeah, he seems like he's really hyped up. Um all right, true or false, true or false. This might this might trigger the the music listeners. Okay, true or false. Music, making music Stay. is essentially, there's nothing to, uh, it, it, there's nothing to like, it, I, I'll say this, I'll say this without, you know, it's almost, I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's almost easy to do music. Is that true or false? Why do I okay. say that? Why do I, I say that? It's Some people just have ghostwriters. You just got. Are you going to let me answer the fucking question? <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah. I was, I was trying to it? add more to my case. I was trying to add more to my case. Okay, I was trying to add more to my case. You go for it. Okay, okay, no, no. Some of you got ghostwriters, right? Okay. So yep. if you just got a voice, I mean, look, a singer told me this in LA um, Madison Watkins. Y'all might know her, y'all might not. I met her at some um, investment dinner. And I said, yo, like, how can I get better at singing? <laughs> like, what can I do? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? La, 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 la. I got it a little, you know what I mean? But I need some more juice, you know what I mean? So I asked her, like, what can I do to get better? She said, I'm going to be honest with you. not trying to be arrogant. You either got it or you don't. That's what a singer told me now. So for the most part, it, it's there or it's not. I mean, it is a, it's a talent, you know? It's a ne- but is it not a God given talent? Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, part of it is for sure. I think part of it is, and then you can take that God given talent, you know, wherever you want. Yeah. But you have to have that God given talent initially, like you, like bro. Pe- we don't couldn't do what we. Don't, oh, I, you, I, I, you, I thought you were gonna cover my vocals. No, I was gonna say, don't, no, don't do me like that. No, no. Sorry, bro. Yeah, don't do me like that. You. But yeah, okay. Proceed. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying we. For us to do what we have to do, we need some type of God given talent. Sure, and then we sure. build upon that with yeah, skill. You know. But there's a lot more. I but mean, that talent won't take you a, a, by the, itself. Like you need for the most f- for the most no, part. Uh, I guarantee you have to But you won't stay in the in the NFL long. Or you won't be a professional singer long if you can't like keep a consistent note. Or See, but that's progress. false. You have to be able to do it. No, there's bro, levels to it. What, there's, did, there's what did Meek Mill say? There's rappers that there's really go in the shit. studio. There's, there's levels, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> no, but there's some rappers that get in the studio. Yeah, bro. and rapping, go crazy. Bro, rapping is I a pure talent, bro. Honey, rapping. they talk from the fifth floor and then they hit bro, the bottom. I feel like you rapping, I mean? bro. Rapping, rapping's a pure talent, and I feel like, bro, them bars then, are just coming. Like uh, you ain't studying for that. See, I think no, that, you're not. I think you but, only uh, need to have a part of. I think. It, you can have like a certain part of talent and then everything else can help you. If you're a writer, cool. You can make music. Bro, that separates like the great artists from like good artists. Like when artists talk about their favorite artists or who their goats are, they'll always talk about like people who are like technically best and they do this type of style and they do that because they have so many different types of things that they do. So it's like they build upon that talent to like create something that's like more unique but or better. Rap- no, I'm, I'm not. I'm I, saying I you can you're saying. rap. I see what you're saying. But you're saying like some people have no flow. They'll have bars, but no flow because they can't like develop a flow and they can't develop a melody or they can't. De- and they just have like, you know, they call that the the, the baby effect. <laughs> the baby effect. No, he he do be on the same. Nah, guys, let me just let me tell you my music too much. I mainly uh, gospel. Got, got I don't really listen, I don't really listen to much rap. Okay, but for the most part, for the most part. Like, I feel like boys, ba- music back in the day, you really had to, like, have some, like, legit stuff going on. For sure. Yeah. Like, 100%. boy, I mean, they was sometimes It had talking. to be more complex. It was more complex. Like, more you hear, sounds. You hear, like, them, like... Uh, tunes. Just think about how many just OG songs that are just, like, legends. It was more authentic back then. More authentic, the and it was just like, yo, this song is it. And, and 30 years from now, when we're... We're all in like our 20s, so we'll, we'll be 50-some. 
possibly 60. What's going to be some songs that's going to be different, that like set apart? I don't know how many rap songs there are going to be that we're going to be like, yo, this one is just so authentic. Like this is, uh. I don't know. It'll evolve. We just don't know what it'll evolve into. Yeah. I mean, every it keeps evolving. Like now there's so much stuff that they didn't used to have, which is why music sounds different. Like people and a lot of it's cap. Back when we were younger, <laughs> a lot of rappers be capping for sure, hundred yeah. percent. You ain't killing nobody. You can 100%. literally make a song in a studio without singing a word. Basically, man, just know this: I'm gonna drop me a single one of these days. I ain't lying. I'm not lying. You better have some bars, bro. See, don't see, see, see. If see, you don't have look, no look. bars, don't drop none. <laughs> I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to become friends with a rapper. No, you gotta become. And I'm gonna be like, bro. Let me. You just, say you gonna drop. You a need single. to become a rapper. I, I know. I know. I'm you be friends with a rapper won't make you a rapper. I'm gonna need him to ghostwrite some stuff. I'm gonna oh, like, so you need a ghostwriter, a, bro? What's wrong with it? That's what I'm saying, bro. A lot of these people be having ghostwriters. Do they? Yeah, not? they do. Of course. Yes. Drake has a ghostwriter. Drake has multiple ghostwriters. Exactly. Uh huh. I don't know if that's true or not, but I it remember. Is, I know one. Okay. Cool. Yo, Drake. Drewski, me, Drewski meme. Drake. Drake. <laughs> Drake, let me hold on to your ghost rider. This is kind of what I like, bro. Like, I'm kind of, you know, I don't want to talk about stuff I'm not about. Mm. I ain't no capping type guy. And then I go out there like, yo, yeah, filet mignon, blah, blah. And I'm going crazy. And then they're like, dang, Marlon can spit. I'm like, I can spit. And boom, now all of a sudden, I'm not saying I'm about to be Drake or nothing, but now all of a sudden, I got a bar. Just know this. Just know this. This is why I say this. If I had, what's Drake? What's your favorite song of Drake? I don't really have one. All right, not whatever. Gonna, not gonna. Let's count. say Drake's top ten songs. Yeah. If I came out with that same Drake song, Marlon Humphrey, people were like, "Oh, it's all right." Yeah. It's all right. But once you get that platform of you, that guy. Yeah. For the most part, whatever you put out there is fire. Because his new album ain't heat. But when he first. Came out. I didn't bro. think the uh, when Drake started coming out, bro, he started coming out with some heat, bro, with like Lil Wayne. No, stuff, back bro. in the day, I will say Drake had some. Drake well, had Drake, some Drake's bars. Bro. His expectations are so high, and he doesn't meet them. Yeah, and it's hard to meet them because those because it's past like, oh, projects he's Drake. So what do you good. mean it's not fire? It is fire. It's Drake. It's kind of like people honestly. Now, I listen to Donda. I, I tried fire. to listen to the Drake one, and I I I really don't listen to new albums ever. And I did with Donda. How are you going to be a music guy? I'm not a music I thought I said that earlier. I'm not a music guy. <laughs> you just said you're going to come out with an album. Oh, oh, Is yeah. But I don't even... Hey, you don't got to be a music guy to do that, though, do you? I think so. It's kind of like a podcast. I've listened to this podcast more than I've ever listened to a podcast. But what is a podcast guy? I don't know. Wait, there's podcast people. For sure. One of the people at the building was like, yeah, my wife loves podcasts. What's your podcast? Is that a skill? Ah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that's a talent. Are we doing a... No, that's definitely not a talent. It's, I don't think it's a talent. It's definitely no. not a talent. Definitely not a talent. Or is it? No. I would say it's a talent. It's a not, talent. Not everyone can talk for that long. I don't think that's a talent <laughs> being a... I don't know. It might be. I think... Uh, uh, just because you can hold a conversation about different topics longer doesn't but, necessarily mean you're more talented in conversating, but I guess. some, that is hard. It is. It's, it's hard for people to talk about different topics, yes. I'll just know Is this. that a talent, though? I think though? I'm good at talking. I would say it. I think I'm good at talking. Well, actually, I take that back. I might not be good at talking, but I enjoy talking. I t it's a skill to be sociable, I guess. Yeah, I think that's but this probably... But this I isn't sociable, though. Skill. There's only I, four of us in here, and a dog and a cat <laughs> who can't talk, and he's just breathing hard. <laughs> if he, I wish he would stop breathing. He's probably breathing hard in the mic, honestly. So, Ali, go. then everyone's he's got that talent. No, so no, 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 no. This is when I realized I think I enjoyed talking or it was something that was in me. It's just part of you, When I was bro. in college. It's part of you. It's part of I your found soul. Out, I found out it is part of you. It was always soul. part of you. You just never found it until college, probably. No, I think it was always in there. No, but that's what, I'm, that's what I just said. might bring something out to you, too. I think it was always in there, but I that's found what out I, said. I finally liked the class and it was public speaking. Mm. It was public speaking. I got up there. Maybe I didn't really study for the assignment. And it was about, um, I studied for the assignment, guys. I, I keep talking like I just wasn't a good student. I was, okay? You wing the whole thing. You make that sure. We were basically talking about different holidays. 
like really weird holidays in different countries. And it maybe it was had to be like, I don't know, five or seven minutes. And basically I didn't, my topics weren't going to meet that. So I just started making up holidays. And I was going in and I felt like I got a good grade, even though I don't remember what grade I got. But it just came easy mm. to finesse. Sometimes talking is just... Finessing is a whole nother skill. Mm-hmm. Finessing is finessing is a is a is a teach is a taught. No, finesse is not natural. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It can be. Yeah, I can. Yes, it no. Can. People, yes, kids it can. finesse. Yeah, yeah. They don't even know teenagers. they're finessing. They're just like trying to get what they want, and they just finesse by doing it. But that's every kid. No, not but, every no, kid. It's not. not every kid is as good as doing it. So you know, some kids. Y'all talking about finesse in line? We're way. getting finesse in line. No, 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 no. No. Finessing is like getting you to do something without you know you're doing it. Getting getting you to do something that they want you to do without you, them necessarily asking you to do it, or getting what you want after you've been told no. Yeah, so you're finding a loophole. That's being like a little crybaby, though. That's just babies. That's being a finesser. No, you can be. A it's like babies. Finesser. Finessing's like, oh, Ronnie just left a twenty dollars bill. Let me sit here and slap his seat. No, and that's then- that's a thief. <laughs> that's not finessing you're thinking about finessing like scamming someone we are finessing is essentially scamming i mean it can go as far as that but i'm talking about you know very pg level finessing at its fundamental God, you, so let me finesse my level. teacher out of this homework tonight but you're essentially taught that though for the most part Nah, you know, it's not just natural. One day you wake up and like I'm a finesse today. Yeah, today's bro. my finesse. You day. just bro, there again, you get to a point where you're like, wow, I'm, I know I'll be able to finesse this because you finessed into so many other situations. You just be like, I know I'll be able to finesse this. That you were taught. No, you taught yourself over time from finessing situations. You d- yeah, you did one you, by oh, one. You dug deep into that brain and you said, "Yo, how can I get around doing this homework?" Right, and then you found a way. But <sighs> and then that built up. But it's kind of like this when your parents say, "Hey, exactly." Son. <laughs> exactly. My parents be like, "Son, I've been around the block before. Yeah. I've been around, I, I've been that, done that. It's not new." It's you not. think you're finessing. That's what I'm saying. You think you finessed yeah. your parents. Oh, I just slid That's out the I'm back saying, door. I got him. Got him. Some then they come are, back. They're like, hey, maybe nice someone, to see you again. Maybe someone else could have finessed them when you couldn't have. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Some people are better at it. All I know is this. I threw the best party ever in high school. I mean, I had it set up perfect. I had no cars out front. So when the cops came, I had everybody park at a, at a park. And then we shuttled people in my dad's truck. Perfect setup. No way the cops could bust this thing. Busted. Little brother snitched on me. Wow. Little brother snitched on me. So you weren't good at what you did. Got snitched in the family. I finessed. Major. It was my senior year. My brother had failed. My sister had failed. <laughs> had thrown a party. But me, I succeeded until my brother snitched. So but you I, failed. No, I still, I still won. I won. It was my last day at the house before I went to college. How'd you win? I left the house before my parents got home. <laughs> went to college early. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still essentially won. <laughs> Boom. But I still kind of got caught. So I guess I didn't really win. Um, but then you got to look. But then I look at myself. I'm sitting there like, my kids are going to try these same finesse moves that I tried to finesse that I failed upon. And I might let them just, you know, think they got it. Like, oh, I can't wait to get them. I can't wait to get them. And then, boom, you didn't finesse me. I caught you. What are you going to do after that? You know, how? what type of uh, disciplinary things am I going to do? I think he's going to be like, you know what, do whatever. Like, You're going to be like, no. No, Martha's going to be like, you know what? I respect that. Go to your room. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we talked about it today. Um, I respect that. Here's man, we had a we had a guy talk. <laughs> To myself and my coworkers, and he was talking about uh, not necessarily doing things your parents did if you saw them as not correctly, and instead of actually, man, I, what he was saying, he Loki was just talking about basically tricking his kids. So maybe this is a very bad example. So forget what I was saying there. Just now. but basically, long story <laughs> short, he was like, instead of being clean your room, clean your room, clean your room. Yeah. Walk up there and be like, didn't I tell you to clean your room? He's like, yes, sir. You go, okay, you're going to sit here and watch me. Then you clean the room. Like, Look at that. It only took 30 minutes. Okay, that's probably a long time. It only took 20 minutes to clean the room. Take a picture. Click, 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 click. 
Next time I actually clean your room, I want it to look like this. Next time, it's hard to clean. True story. True freaking story. Are you agreeing with that? And instead of, he did like this. Peace. Instead of, peace. I think that's a good way to handle it. Am I going to do that? Mm. Probably not. Probably not. I I, I probably, I, I could see my, I mean, I would do it now that you said that. It's not a bad. It's not a bad idea. Alex. I mean, it's worth trying once. Yeah. Because you know, if you tell me, you know, I do this once, he'll do it all the rest of his life. Fine. I do it once, and then he doesn't do it again. All right, not doing it. I'm not cleaning it a second time. I, I'm, you know, so because uh, after the second that's time, that's maybe more of a mom thing. Am I really going to go upstairs and be like, "Man, my son's room is dirty," and actually care? I mean, I don't know. I do not know. I do not have any kids, and or a wife. So we'll see. Um, all right, last topic of the day. First off, fact of the day. First person arrested for speeding, Ronnie G. Stanley. Shannon already knows the answer to this. Was going how fast? The first person arrested for speeding was going how fast? This is the fact of the day. I'm going to say 20 miles. Uh, cars, how fast were they back then? You know, they're probably uh, 10 <laughs> miles an hour. You're right, you're right. 15 miles an hour. You're right. We had station wagon, like low key. 20 miles, 20 miles an hour. Kevin? Is that your final answer? Yes, final answer. On this day in 1896, Walter Damn. Arnold. <laughs> I didn't know he had cars back then. <laughs> Dang, that's a long time. Okay. When did we learn to fly? 1937. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, how did you know I was lying? How do you know? What do you. Because I know you, Marlon. I know you. Dang, that's crazy. Wait, was it? My my great uncle was, was it 1937? engaged to Amelia Earhart, so I don't think it was like or like my great He was great, engaged to Amelia Earhart. My great great grandfather was engaged to Amelia Earhart, so I don't think it was that long ago. Oh, you got clout. Like, it was, I don't think it was like 1800s. Your pops, your great great got clout. Amelia Earhart. 1913. 1903. When we learned how to fly. I was close. When we learned how to fly. Learned how to fly in 1903. I was close. That's not that far from driving a vehicle. No. When was the first car? He's, oh, wait. That was just when the first person got a speeding ticket. Yeah. No, arrested. Oh, probably, speed. It probably had to be around the same. Um, Flying in a car? Those are, that seems like way too different to accomplishment. Uh, Think about how many people no, no, died no, I mean, trying like, to fly. That RIP to those people, but man, you did good. I wonder Flies. how many failed flights there were yeah. when commercial. Dude, they, they were saying you were, they were probably... Airlines I hate to first say started. It, they were definitely multiple trial and yeah. errors. Yeah, well, the, so the, the first flight was in 1903, and the, those were the Wright brothers, and they basically mm. just kind of made man-powered planes where they would just run and like jump and learn how. Oh, to they're fly. paragliders, pretty oh. much. Progressively got to making engines and whatnot um, from cars, which the first car was made in 1886. So that was the first car. Yeah. So, so basically, how did twenty he get years later. Pulled over in 1836. No, no, he was pulled over in 1896. Oh, 18. Ten years later. Yes. And how fast was he going? He was going eight miles an hour. Eight miles an hour. Poor lad. Arrested. Lives. Eight miles an hour. How long was he in jail for? Do we know? Uh, so the whole story is he was fined for one shilling plus costs for speeding at eight miles an hour, and he was exceeding the speed limit by two miles an hour. I, I just know what that cop that shoot? cop that cop was so excited. He was like, was yo, I'm about bag. to get this guy right here. Wait, what's he's gonna shoot? be the that cop was like, Man, I can't wait to give someone a speeding ticket. That'll be the first time anyone gets it. It wasn't a speeding even a ticket. ticket, it was a whole arresting. Yeah, yeah, but put that a, cop was put like he was happy. He was like, This is my first time on the job. Uh, he read Miranda. Right we have new that. cars out here. Chief said we gotta be tough on these new drivers, make sure they're following the rules. Next guy, I see going past me limit. I'm gonna pull his butt over. Six six miles an hour is kind of funky. I thought like, it was why eight. Is not five. So yeah, he's pulled over. Speed eight. limit. Yeah. Oh, the speed limit was six. Six. I missed that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that oh, car was tripping. Right. The speed limit was two miles an hour. I'm Ooh. Sorry, so why are you even so in a car? So this was low key reckless. I reckless can drive driving. faster than that. <laughs> like for reckless. a long time. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Just. You might as well walk. I think you walk in fast. Two miles, miles an hour. Really? That's pretty fast. No. Nah, Talked him. I swear. He be no. I know. Oh yeah. I know. He, he's <laughs> he's like literally got fast. I used to be able to beat him in a foot race. <laughs> now he's cooking me. Um. But anyway. Um. Two miles 
Thousand. What her. was I about to? What's a shilling? A shilling is form of currency. Yes, uh, in England, it was one coin, which is equivalent to point zero zero nine cents U.S. dollar. Point zero zero nine. Cents. So, it, yeah, that's like not not even a penny. Yeah, I was wow. going to say. Okay, all right, all right. Not even a penny. One more thing, people. Ronnie hasn't seen it. Shayna hasn't seen it. Kevin hasn't seen it. But they will all see it by the time we air this thing next week. Even though Shayna won't be here. She was just a guest. Anyway. Dune movie. I saw it Sunday night. I would say it was a phenomenal movie that I didn't understand. Hmm. Why? Well, one, I showed up a little late. And I did my thing that I talked about. Go to a movie you know nothing about. Just go to a movie you know nothing about. I went and saw it. I knew nothing about it. So I showed up a little late. Beautiful sights, beautiful scene, scenery. I mean, it just seemed like it was sand, and then there was like these cool little uniform things, and people with these like weird helmets on, and then this force field, and then these ships. Long story short, I don't know what happened in the movie. All I know is people died, and people escaped. And it looked cool. Mm. So it's two hours and 30 minutes. I'm going to check it out. I've heard good things. My teammate said he already has seen it twice. Mm. So I wouldn't recommend that because, I mean, he told me I need to see it again. He said he didn't understand it the first time, so he had to watch it twice. But, man, guys, if you guys got two hours and 30 minutes to waste completely of your time looking at a screen, Dune movie might might be uh, the movie for you, I guess. I'm going to check it out. But, guys, that is all we have for today. Shayna, comments, thoughts, and or concerns. About? Life. About life. About before we go out. The people, the people are here for you. <laughs> comments, thoughts, or concerns. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly, I just want everyone to be safe, man. Mm. Amen. Be safe. Uh, get your greens in, get your ginger in, you know, mm-hmm. go ginger. be healthy for a couple days at least. Yes. Are you promoting and vegan life? No. Okay. Yeah. Chicken tacos every Tuesday. Mm. But, um. Tacos. Yeah, that's Taco. all. It's Taco Tuesday. Bet. <laughs> Screw Taco Tuesday. Such tacos. A Ronnie, talk no, to that's me. All, talk that's to that's me. all. You know, tell someone you love them today. <laughs> I, I love you, bro. Tell someone. I love you, bro. I love you too, bro. <laughs> Make sure you guys hug somebody, please. Look to the person next to you. There I don't is. care where you are. Look if you're up. listening to this, you're at work. Look to your left. On the subway. On the subway. Eating at dinner. In the line at Chipotle. In the line at McDonald's. Anywhere. If you're at Buffalo Wild Wings, don't hug nobody. You're not about to get your food no time soon. I went at the there. airport. It took me an hour, bro. Stay, Ali. And I got no food. I got onion rings. But she said, I, I don't want you eating. Anyway, all right, sorry. Finish. Tell them you love them. Look, look at that person in the eye. Don't make, don't make eye, it weird. Don't make it weird. What if you don't know them? Still do it? Yeah, just do it. Yes, just like, hey, yes. Hey. I contact your superior. I don't know you, but I love you. And if you don't know them, let's maybe wear a mask, maybe? Is this the corona around? You don't have to get up in their face, you know? But you, you kind of... Just gotta look at him. Hey, just, just make that you know uh, subtle eye okay, contact. Okay, okay, you know? okay, okay. He's like, hey, what do you say, uh, lad? What do you say, mate? Hey, mate. Hey, mate. I have been saying mate a lot, like I'm from. Hey, mate. I don't even know who the says UK. it. Love you, mate. Hey, mate. Sorry, mate. You're my mate. I co-sign what Ronnie just said there. Guys, love can go a long way. Long ways. Like we've talked about here before. Mental health is a premium in today's day and age. You never know what the man and or woman next to you is going through. Wise words of encouragement. And sometimes you just saying, I love you, Mm. can help your own self. True. We love you. We love you. Continue to do what you're doing if it's well. If you're doing bad, just try to change it up a little bit. Work on it, you know. know? First step is acknowledgement. But we love y'all. Over, out. Hey. We'll see you next week.